Hey you guys, hope everything is all good. It's Friday evening, I finished work for the week and the sun is kind of out. It's a little bit touch and go with the weather. We may get drowned at some point, we're not sure yet. But I'm gonna try and get a couple of hours in with Max after work. I'll take you guys along for the ride because I know you haven't had a video this week. And I'm sure you're missing your springy tails fix. Let's go. Max is happy as usual to see you guys. You can see the council in their wisdom have decided that while the ground is absolutely soaking because it's been raining like forever, now is the time to come and mow the grass in the park. So now we've got loads of tyre tracks everywhere, which is awesome. Things have been kind of hectic with like domestic stuff this week in the Springy Tales house. We've been changing over our internet and TV providers, so boring stuff like that, but it's kind of takes up a lot of time sorting out kind of stuff up and having to pull all the furniture out so that they can move cables around and all that kind of stuff. Stevie's got a bit of a flu virus as well, which is why we've not seen anything of Stevie today in today's video. She's at home resting up, not feeling very well, a really sore head, a sore throat and stuff. So it's best that she stays at home and gets herself all rested up. Stevie's missing out on the Bridge of Doom. Not the Bridge of Doom because it's a wooden bridge and apparently that is doomful. Is that a word? I don't know. Max doesn't seem too intimidated by the Bridge of Doom. This is, this is what you have to look forward to if you're in a spring espanol between like, well, September and April in the UK. It's got a lovely muddy belly because he likes to run around in the mud. Why walk on the nice dry path when there's a lovely puddle to run through? Hey Max. You can see by the state of the puddle that it's done quite a bit of raining around here recently. Feels like it's been raining non-stop for weeks. At least there's a little bit of blue sky happening at the moment. Makes a nice change. See up to the dream up there. That's where we're walking today. Did go there in an earlier video, so I won't cover too much of the same ground over again as we did last time. Max is busy trying to destroy his toy. It's a regular theme in our videos. He's been through about three of these now. This guy's pretty nice actually. It's almost like a watercolour painting or something. Little fluffy high clouds up there. Every time I come here I'm amazed by how well managed it all is in terms of all the trees and all the greenery everywhere. It's easy to forget that this was an active coal mine up until 1991. So maybe 26 years ago. And just to kind of look at it now, all the trees everywhere, lovely paths for walking on and cycling and running and stuff. It's really a good place to be. Also it's a good place to chew your toy if you're Max. You're going to be in trouble with that toy in a minute, monkey. <laughs> that your trouble face? Trouble dog. Wag wag wag. Come on little dude. We're going up the steep hill. Oh, Max just runs up this like it's not even there. <laughs> Can confirm that this is pretty steep. It's short though, it's not too intense. We're not running up it today. I mean, I haven't got Stevie to hold the camera while I uh, have a sprint up the hill with Max. There's a Ryanair plane actually flying there. Anyone in the UK will find that slightly funny. See what I have to deal with? So you see, this, this here, this is immensely attractive, but having a wash when we get home is like the devil's work, isn't it? Talking about me. I am talking about you chewing your toy. Go and hide in the long grass. A nice path here, mate. You know, instead of that swamp that you're running through. There she is, the dream. And last little bit of hill to walk up before we get there. Incidentally, the hill that the dream sits on top of is actually man-made. It may not look it, but this is actually made from the old the spoil heap, which is the kind of waste product from the coal mine. And then they topped it off 
with topsoil that was from the construction of the Trafford Centre, which opened about 20, 25 years ago now. Landscaped it all into this lovely country park that it is now. All looks really kind of natural. You'd never think it was man-made. Apart from the path, obviously, and the big piece of art at the top. Here we are at the top now. The sculpture was once brilliant white when it was first installed. You can see it's kind of weathered over the years. I think that was the artist's intention. Lots of people have different opinions on it, but personally I kind of like it. So get an idea of how high up we are. A view down through the gap in the trees here. Over towards Warrington that I think. Now that we're at the top I think we'll have a quick break and have a drink. How about that mate? we have a drink? Come on then. Head back down the hill again. Stevie's probably wondering where we are now. We're out for an extra long walk today. Oh, it's not extra long by our weekend walk standards. It's unusual that we come out for this long on a weeknight. So, that's going to do it for today. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you so much to all you guys for all your lovely comments on our recent videos. Make sure you say hello again in the comments today. We're thinking about doing a Q&A video soon, maybe. So if you've got any ideas for any questions you'd like to, us to answer, then please let us know down in the comments and we may answer them in a future Q&A video. I'm gonna try and keep it to uploading at least once a week on a Saturday or a Sunday, sometimes both, if it's been a particularly busy week. Obviously we've, we've ended the Florida content now, so unless there's loads and loads going on, perhaps at, uh, at Christmas and that sort of things, we'll, we'll be able to upload some more during the week. But for the time being, it will be regular uploads on a Saturday or a Sunday. We are pre it's sort of penciled in, to go to Alton Towers a week on Monday, so in a couple of weeks' time, we should have an exciting Alton Towers video to show you, which I'm looking forward to. Haven't been to Alton Towers for a good few years now, so that should be excellent. Thanks very much for watching today's video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to follow our adventures. Give us a like and a comment, say hello, and we'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.